the most incredible thing about this film, and it and it's really the thing that drew me to it, was that the direction of your life can change in an instant. That that you can be on a path, um, and a lot of us just get so sort of narrowly focused on the path that we're on for whatever reason, and and then something like this can come out of nowhere and change your entire life. And I think that message is so important right now to, for the world and our crew. And I hope people understand that, that animals are as important as people and they can teach us a lot more than we can teach them. And that that relationship for many is the equivalent of or more important than any bond that humans have, the, the, the human-animal relationship. So this film came to be, was propelled into existence by the events that actually happened in real life um, with Michael Lenord on his race in Ecuador. Um, I believe the year was 2013 or 2014. And, um, and that subsequently became a book, which subsequently became a documentary that was a short documentary that was on ESPN. And we saw the documentary and there's no chance anybody gets through that documentary without crying. And we knew we had to make it into a film. There have been a lot of dog films made. This one, I think, <clears throat> is, is more a movie about a transformation, both for the dog, but primarily for Michael Linord, um, the lead character, uh, the, the, the actual person and also the lead of the, of the film played by Mark Wahlberg. Um, really, the dog and meeting the dog is a catalyst for change in the character. The dog is incredible. Um, our dog, whose real name is Yukai, we found him um, in s early summer. Uh, he, he was one of the dogs that the, the, the trainers have worked with in the past. And he, as you said, looks just like Arthur. Spitting image. Um, we didn't have to zhuzh him up and, and dye his hair. He looks exactly like Arthur. This movie being about, you know, saving an animal it was, it was really, really important to us. Um, probably the most important thing about the movie was to keep the animal safe in the film. I think th we've adopted three or four dogs during the actual course of production. There are dogs everywhere here. They're very much part of this world and, and, and the people are very friendly towards dogs here, which is great. Um, but we have a, a, few new, um, a few new dogs to take back or to, to make sure they have wonderful lives. When I heard Simon's name suggested um, from Steve Levinson, another producer on the film, and Mark Wahlberg, uh, we, we quickly looked at his work, um, Boardwalk Empire and Ballers and Power, and you know, he's done a lot of great stuff. Um, and he's, he was really talented at, at capturing something that feels real and authentic characters. He has incredible energy. And he's great, great positive attitude. He's he's tireless, you know. He's enthusiastic and uh, and really a great leader um, for the crew. So we feel blessed that that he's directing the movie. It was an an embarrassment of riches um, for us on the casting, um, you know, from um, Ollie Solomon, who's an incredible actor, um, just brilliant brilliant performer, really well trained, and the banter that he has with Mark Wahlberg in the film, the back and forth and that chemistry that the two of them have is great. Then we have Simu Liu, and he's great. Um, he's sort of the antagonist and needed to be strong enough to stand up to, to Mark Wahlberg. Then we have Natalie Emanuel, who's, who's um, in the movie plays, you know, just a badass. Um, she's really like the, at the top of her game in adventure racing. So Juliet Rylance plays Helena, Mark's wife, and um, she's incredible. She's a classically trained, amazing actor. Um, really kind of, we needed the counterbalance to Mark and someone who was as strong as Mark, a different energy, a different way to approach things. 